Hi, Denise. Nice to meet you. Oh my gosh. Hi, Tracy. It's so nice to meet you. I'm so, so excited. I, I am too. I'm, I'm excited to see your kitchen and to work with you. Do you have any certain colors or style in mind? Uh, I would like to see like a lighter color, so maybe like white or like shabby chicy. We can walk around the kitchen so I can get a feel for it. I did get your measurements from you. Okay, so go ahead and go in the kitchen now? Sure. Okay. Cabinets aren't too bad, but I would maybe like them lighter. I'm, I'm kind of open to many different things on that. <laughs> okay. So um, any ideas you might have for that would be great, but something okay. lighter and bright and cheery. Um, How is your kitchen functioning for you as far as the layout? It is, except for um, we don't have an eating area. So we have this divider here. Do you see that divider? Right, So I, do. um, I don't know if we could do like a bar there of some sort, um, a seating area for like... It so is that a half? Is that a half wall right now? It's a half wall. Okay. So I didn't All know if right. we could do something with that and make it more for the family to eat at instead of going into the dining room. So then we're all in one area. And have an overhang for seating. Yes. That would be great. Just by taking these cabinets a little bit taller and then continuing the crown up to the ceiling, it really will um, give you a dramatically different look. Another thing I'm seeing is your cabinets that you have all have a center style. Do you know what I'm talking about? No, I don't. So if you open up your cabinet doors, pick one of your large cabinets. Okay. And open up your doors. See that piece in the middle? Oh, this, yes. So we really rarely do those anymore. So we can, you'll, you'll have, that piece will disappear and then you'll have full access to your storage. Yes. Okay, I like that. I don't know if you have any like rollout trays currently. I don't. Those are those are really one of the best um, accessories for you to maximize your storage. Where would the so roll light tray go normally? In the base cabinets. Okay. So you can either have one just on the bottom or we can do two, one on the bottom and then one halfway up. Okay, okay. And we do have a little um, small pantry here, so. You do have a small pantry and I was gonna ask you about that. You can also remove that and put in a cabinet pantry. Okay, If you wanna okay. extend the cabinet look. I mean, can you think of any features that you've seen anywhere that are really important to you? I don't know if we can do a, because I've always loved these, um, a farm sink. Sure, sure. We could do a farmhouse sink there because of what you're looking at with the white. That really fits us. We can do that in any of our lines. Okay. So it allows us a lot of flexibility with budget. Oh, and I know we haven't talked that much about that. Do you have an idea? I was, my husband was saying 15000 but I'd like to go higher. So we're going to say okay. I don't know if you're, when you mention that, you're talking about countertops as well. Possibly. So, um, Seagulls, you know, we also have countertops. Oh my um, God. We can supply the sinks. Um, and I'm not sure what, if you have a contractor, but we do, um, we do have our own contractors too that do installation. Oh, so, that's wonderful. Okay, yeah. great. Because, yeah, we makes don't- Makes it very easy for you. Yeah, and we don't know who to trust either. So that's huge. Right. Okay, right. that's fantastic. Yeah, looking forward to showing you um, what I come up with. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Thank you so much. Hi, Denise. It's great to be back oh. with you. Oh my gosh, it looks amazing. <laughs> Let's start walking around the kitchen and talking about different storage. So before you had that closet pantry over here. Mm -hmm. And in order to make the kitchen look more cohesive and designed, um, I've taken that pantry out. Oh. Added a pantry over here for you with rollouts, which is gonna give you so much functional storage. Yes. Um, and then moved the fridge over to the old pantry area. What this does, it allows this these two talls to frame out this middle section and give you lots of working counter space. Oh, that's really stunning. We kept the microwave above your slide-in range. And then down below, we've got nice size cabinets. I think they're about 30 inches in order to put uh, two rollouts in each one on the bottom. Again, really maximizing your storage. Perfect. As we walk around, we have maximize the storage area with a nice big base 42. It's called a buffet cabinet. So as we move in here, we can see that we have four nice sized drawers. You can use them for silverware. Um, we can make one a spice drawer. You could even do a charging drawer for uh, phones, iPads, 
roll out on the bottom. It could be for Tupperware, additional pot and pan storage. I cannot wait for my husband to see this. <laughs> As we walk around again, we, we're, we have your apron front sink, which was really important to you, and I think it could look really special in there. That looks amazing. Okay, how about this? Your Lazy Susan. Again, the turntables inside, which gives you a lot of good storage. We have a nice um, quartz in there that has a marble look and a beautiful backsplash. Ah. So let's walk around to our half wall area where we wanted to get some seating. Mm -hmm. um, we put shiplap on the wall, this side and the other side, and run furniture base around the bottom. Increase the size of the top so that we have enough for five stools. Love that. What I was really thinking though is it would be nice um, if we had a little room in the budget to increase this even more, put more storage under here, Ooh. maybe a put a couple posts out here to help carry the weight of our countertop and make it even more functional for you. We'll have to talk about the budget, but I really love that idea. Thank you so much. I cannot wait to come in and talk to you in person and to feel those cabinets. I'm so anxious to do that. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome.